Welcome to this quick start guide for the turbine. We have a video of a plane flying by and we're going to use the turbine to create the sound for that. So first off, let's create a stereo track. Secondly, insert the turbine plugin. Now use the thrust lever to start up the engine. As a general tip, the mouse resolution is very inaccurate compared to automation for instance. To get smooth behavior, we recommend using automation instead. Also very important, size is timing. All turbines will sound like vacuum cleaners when thrust is raised too quickly. A good starting point is about 40 seconds rising time to 60% thrust for planes. Now let's start with the sound for the video. Step 1, select a suitable preset. Secondly, enter a good thrust value, for example 90%. Step 3, start the simulation. You can fly around using the white triangle, and you can also write automation for the current flight path. Once the plane gets out of reach, use the zoom slider to find it. Now let's get back to the video. First, we're gonna write an automation for a starting point, in this case x equals 0 meters, y is 1500 meters, and z is 80 meters. Secondly, we're gonna write down an important waypoint, in this case y equals 0 meters, right above the viewer's spot. Thirdly, we'll write automation for the end of the flight path and then play back. Now the plane is simply flying overhead at a constant height in the center of the stereo field at 360 km per hour. But since the plane is departing in the video, the height is going to change as well. Automating the z-axis from 80 meters to 500 meters gets the plane to rise in the simulation, offering a more realistic departing sound. Now hit play and enjoy your first flight using only the most basic parameters, 